came in here in 2014 and we had a thin stand of fescue. It had been hayed for years with nothing added. The ground was very depleted. We came in in 2015 and we sowed orchard grass into it. We limed it. Small improvement uh, and we only, we only hayed it one time and the rest of the time we just mowed it trying to kind of bring it back. Uh, Taylor came in late 2015 and we put the carbon, the hay now, and the enhance on it and immediately the stand thickened, especially the orchard grass. How that fit into our operation was we're not bailing for tonnage, we're bailing for quality. We bail immediate sign of the boot, we're bailing. Uh, the horses um, really like that short, sweet hay. They don't like stems. They don't like mature hay. It, it, you know, if I could get away with it, I'd bail it this tall, but I can't. But literally, we're bailing a week or two before everybody else, partially because the hay is coming in so good and thick, partially for you for the hay, just to avoid the maturity. But I, I see all the time when I compare my hay and people come by and compliment us on it, you know, our strands of hay are that long, you know, and this is all grass hay, but they're that long as opposed to that long. And that makes a tremendous difference in the way the material appeals to the horses. When they eat every blade of hay and there's no waste, you don't see your money laying around under that feeder out there and you don't see it laying around in the stall and it doesn't go into the manure spreader and cause all those problems. It's just a simpler, better way to do things. I can't quantify every dollar of the input and every dollar of the output for you here today, but I'll tell you, there's no waste. We don't have anything going out the door and out the window in wasted hay that nobody wants and that the horses won't eat. I mean, it goes every drop of it into those horses. We can leave them out all winter. They don't need a lot of supplements. They've gotten everything they needed from the hay. Um, and as we were laughing about earlier, you know, this makes my wife very happy. Happy wife, happy life. She brags on our hay. We, uh, we sell a little bit of it, and amongst the people around here, the hay on this farm already had a good reputation, and a lot of people had bought hay from the previous farmer. But now we have people calling and asking, can we get some? And it's, it's a combination of factors. It's bailing it young. It's the Monty's additives. It's the care we take in making sure that we don't have any weather risks because we're only bailing one thirty acre field. I don't have the issues that a commercial hay farmer has. I've only got to make that one work. But that one works for four cuttings. First one, you know, a little taller because of the weather. But the last three, short and thick and still getting 1,500 in the barn. We roll about 30 roll bales. And then we, whatever we have left over, we sell. And we don't have any trouble getting rid of it. Once people see it or know about it, it's pretty much sold. Monty's Plant Food Company offers a natural soil enhancement and plant fertility program using innovative proprietary technologies designed to maximize a farmer's yield. Our products and programs are designed to address a farmer's specific needs and challenges, soil or plant. Maximize your results with Monty's. Success you can see.